First off, I'd like to acknowledge the, the work of Dean Monica Ponce Leon for coming up with this Future of Format, which I think has proved to be very robust in handling a number of issues. As we've mentioned before, this is the fourth and final of the series. We started with design. And I'll add on a personal note, that was the first time I was ever in Ann Arbor, was presenting in the future of design. So, work for my future. Uh, future of design, future of urbanism, future of technology, and now we conclude with the future of history. So I think it's been a really fantastic format that we've used. Also, thanks to the faculty moderators who together have in collective conversation, but also through their own area edition and communication with their panelists, I think put forward really salient issues under this, this broad aegis of the future of history that really brought forward and out of, of the afternoon and, and the days some really interesting topics and, and food for thought. And of course, thanks to the staff who have, as always, facilitated a seamless event. Um, but of course, our greatest appreciation has to go to the speakers over the last day and a half who have offered a wide array of material, frankly, some of which I agree with, some of which I don't agree with, but have been impressed at every juncture by the intelligence uh, with which it's put forward. And so I was trying to think through how to conclude these remarks. Do I affirm the ones I believe in? Do I, do I cast stones at the ones I don't? And I really, the, the thing that helped me to conceptualize the event most was something that happened just before we started. As you came in on Friday, you may have noticed a whole array of sort of little wooden models arrayed on the steps of Rackham. That was a sort of student installation from a project that's going on now um, in our studios, taught by uh, Professor Stephen Mancouche. He had the students take a block of wood. They were allowed to cut the block in three times. Then they were to take those three cuts and recombine it in as many possible ways as they could. And so I was fortunate enough to be at the midterm for this review. It was a beautiful installation, thousands and thousands and thousands of models. And the question quickly became, one, while the, the affirmation was, wow, this is really amazing, this is really beautiful. And the question quickly became, well, what is this? What do we do with this? And I think this is where history is a tremendous help for us. And not only in the way that history can look at these things and say, oh, they're like houses, or oh, they're like urbanism, or give us categories of previous models of organizing that thought, but history can offer us, frankly, and this is where I think when we talk about history, we talk about architecture and architectural history, I think we're allied as fields of organization. Our thoughts turn towards the processes of organization, and I think hearing the speakers today, we, we understand how our own sort of infinite blocks of material, which is our, our history, can be organized into a number of different patterns. And I like to joke with people that I think all conferences are failures because they can never live up to the ambition of their title. And so, I don't think we figured out the future of history, but I'll sort of take back my comments because I think this conference is an entire success, not in that we identified one singular version of the future of history, but I think through the panelists' presentation throughout this day and a half, we've seen the future of history enacted. And for that, I, I thank you on behalf of the program. <laughs>